Thanks for tuning in and thanks for subscribing. What's up guys, Walrus here with a create a class video for the game of Capture the Flag. Operational footage will follow shortly demonstrating the tools of the trade being used, but first, let's go ahead and break them down. So we've got the AK-47 silenced, that's the primary, I prefer that assault rifle or the commando with either one of those assault rifles, you really can't go wrong with the silencer attachment. The secondary sidearm that we've chosen is the CZ-75 with a fully auto upgrade. You guys are all well aware that when you switch to your sidearm, your mobility increases. Having a secondary weapon with the full auto capability is very important for dealing with enemies in close quarters engagements. We went with the Semtex simply because I don't like to cook frags and I don't like the fact that they can be thrown back. The smoke grenade is absolutely fundamental. You guys will see here following the operational footage shortly. The tactical insertion is a necessity. Being able to control your spawn and jump right back into the battle as quickly as possible from a location of your choosing is again, like I said, a necessity. You guys will see it demonstrated here in just a moment. Ghost is also a very important perk. When you're being as active and as aggressive as you are as a flag runner, it's very important to be able to stay off of the enemy map, enemy radar, when you pull their flag. Ghost solves that problem. Sleight of hand is a very nice second perk to use, especially with the pro attribute. Being able to reload very quickly and aim down sights just a little bit faster is important as well. Marathon, man, that's a no-brainer, you guys. When you're playing as active and as aggressive as you are with this particular class setup and this particular role, then uh, being able to run for long distances and not stop, again, very important. So let's go ahead and take a look at some operational footage, shall we? So we're playing on Summit, obviously. I make it to the enemy team's flag. And what a surprise, right? We've got somebody playing defensive, looking at that flag like a hawk. I'm able to smoke it up and keep him guessing. He doesn't get one hit marker on me. I'm able to get that easy pull and then hustle on my way back to our flag for the easy cap. But first, let's go ahead and return our flag. Get a nice two-piece right here. Silence the assault rifle. Keep some guessing, you guys. This guy has no idea where I came from. And that's really what it's all about, is keeping the enemy on their toes and keeping them in that spawn delay. Right here, I see this guy. No problem. Aim down sights. Sleight of hand pro attribute for the win. Kill streaks that I like to use, you guys, are the counter spy plane, the napalm, and the blackbird. Another very viable perk that I've found to be extremely effective for a lot of, uh, a lot of engagement you guys is steady aim the pro attribute allows you obviously allows you to uh, pull up your weapon just a little bit quicker right after you're sprinting so that can be very important I'm able to get that flag cap right there and then let's take a look at some more footage so here we are on WMD again silencer and ghost combination very important keeping the enemy guessing um, making sure that they stay in that spawn delay as they get put down and here we're gonna go ahead and take a look at a very very cool sequence of events tactical insertion I place it right in their spawn building Building. This is where you guys will see in just a second at where they spawn at. Semtex, I lob it up there. Usually, there's somebody camping, but not in this case. Uh, I don't get a kill, and I don't get any. Uh, I don't get any hit markers whatsoever. So I'm gonna wrap around this side of the map. Of course, we're gonna throw some smoke all over the objective. Make sure that it's uh, it's nice and blurry so nobody can see me. Get the pull, and then here you can see how effective the CZ-75 is at close quarters. Increase mobility, and I'm gonna go ahead and stop on this guy. We're gonna go ahead and wrap around this side of the map. Switch to the commando. Help my team out and get a nice assist as we tag team this clown and then it's on the way back to the spawn back to our flag for an easy flag cap but um, I am gonna get shot I am gonna get taken out we're gonna have a nice little uh, theater mode transition coming up real shortly and then remember where I dropped that tactical insertion you guys right in their spawn we're gonna see how effective that can be so here we go go ahead and get that flag cap and here's the tack insert this is where I chose to spawn and three two one boom and this guy is up in my grill, but I'm up in his first. And that's how that's how we do it, you guys. Tack insertions are very important. Those two clowns got taken out, no problem. And there's one more guy hiding right there. He is. Hey, buddy, how are you doing? Not too good, I don't think. Here in a second. Yep, you're down. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, that's what it's all about, you guys. Is having fun and um, using these tactics and, and some of these strategies um, consistently has, you know, at least for me, it has has proven to be very effective. Now, when you guys drop your tack insert, it's important that you drop it facing the action. Um, you can see right there, I get blown up by a claymore, but thanks to my uh, my tack insert, I'm able to get right back into the action, right back up in the enemy team's face. And you guys saw in that in that earlier clip. Uh, how important it is to drop it the right way because as soon as an enemy teammate sees that thing most of the time they're going to run right at it and try and take care of you but if you uh, if you can spawn and just hold down that trigger the fire button um, you're going to be in their face first most of the time pick up a nice two piece here a nice double kill as I grab that flag 
and uh, no need to reload, switch to the CZ-75, back up in the enemy team spawn again, close quarters engagement, CZ-75, fully auto upgrade for the win, baby. So that's gonna, that's just about gonna wrap it up, you guys. I had a lot of fun making this video, and I'm pretty sure, you know what, I think I'm gonna do quite a few more of these class setup videos where I demonstrate the, uh, the tools of the trade that I've selected in operation. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave me some comments and some feedback in the comment section there. Dolphin Dive for the win, baby. That's what I'm talking about right there. I've got a lot of new videos planned, a lot of good ideas coming up for you guys. So stick around, stay tuned, and I will talk to you guys later. It's great having you here. Hope everybody enjoyed this video. Peace.